Hi guys, today we are at a covered bridge in northern Vermont called the Church Street Covered Bridge. Yeah, this bridge was constructed by an unknown builder in 1877 using a queen post truss design. We'll put some information about this design in the description below. The bridge measures 61 feet in length and 15 feet wide. This bridge is a favorite of local and New England artists who often come here in the autumn to paint. Hey, there's an artist there now. Hey guys, it's Dan from Adventure Awakes. Today we are doing a covered bridge challenge. We are about to visit 10 different covered bridges within the next hour. The last covered bridge that we'll be visiting is about 25 miles from here. The estimated driving time is 45 minutes, which allows us about one minute at each covered bridge. If we're able to do it, there's an 11th one that we're gonna try to hit as well. Let's get going. All right, so this will be bridge number one. We'll start the timer as we cross the bridge. Three, two, one, go. Time has been started. All right, can we do this in an hour? Our next bridge is the Montgomery Covered Bridge. It's about one and a quarter miles up the road. It'll be up here on our right. When we get there, you can just drop us off at the end. We'll hop out, we'll take some video, and then you should be able to just park there on the side. Once we get back in, we'll just keep going straight. Somebody can keep an eye on the timer. Remember, we've only got about one minute there. So we got one minute. Somebody want to keep an eye on the time? Also up here on the right, the Kissing Bridge. All right, this is the Kissing Bridge on the Cotting Hill Road. How far is the next one? Two miles. All right, we need to go up the road about two miles and turn onto a dirt road. 
And we all know what Vermont dirt roads are like this time of year, so hopefully we can make some good time on that road. Down that road is the mill covered bridge. And uh, we'll go down through there. And actually there's two bridges that we'll be able to go to on that road. Turn onto the back road, cross the mill covered bridge, continue up the back road to where we then turn onto the Morgan covered bridge road. And then we'll go through the Morgan covered bridge and then continue on our way. How many is that? We've done three now? Yep. What's our time? We've done three in eight, seven and a half minutes. About seven and a half minutes. Should it be coming up? Yeah, it's coming up because there's a church. We're going to turn left here on the back road. So we're turning onto a Vermont dirt road. Hopefully it's not too bad. Right now we are at, we're about nine minutes in and we've already done three covered bridges. Oh. The road's pulling around a little bit. Right around the corner here. Yeah, you can start to right there. Hopefully, no one's coming through the other way. I don't see anybody, so we'll just go, go. So that's four, four covered bridges. Now we're coming up to the Morgan covered bridge. Straight ahead. So we'll turn right onto Morgan Bridge Road. And we'll go, we'll just drive through this one too, since we are going through it anyway. Just make sure no one's coming. Morgan Bridge built in 1871. At number five? Yep. How many minutes? About 12 probably. Yep. Five and 12 minutes. All right, we'll go up here, we'll turn left onto the paved road. We violate. Our next covered bridge is 13 miles away. So we have a little bit of driving time. Um, so we're gonna head over there right now. That one is on a dirt road as well. So hopefully when we get there, the road won't be too bad. This paved road is pretty bad right now. Vermont roads.
next several covered bridges we're about to visit are lattice type bridges built by the Jewett brothers in the late 1800s. If all goes as planned, we should be able to hit five of them and we're gonna try to squeeze in one more, making it 11 bridges in one hour. We'll see if we can pull it off. Put some information down in the description below about where all these covered bridges are. What? Fun. We still have five more to do. Now we're behind this poke along. Do, 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 do. He's pulling off. Thank you, buddy. So we're looking for the South Branch Road up here on the left. Sorry, South Brook Road. There it is, down there. I don't think we can get down there. We're gonna have to walk down there. That's all snowed in. They haven't plowed that out. Oh, people have walked down here. Wow, this is actually kind of a cool covered bridge. Well, this road is closed. It hasn't been plowed all winter, so we had to hike down in to get to this bridge. Um, I'm assuming that during the spring, summer, and fall, this road would probably be open, but you may want to check into that if you want to visit these bridges. built in 1883 by the Jewett Brothers. You're going to see several more of this style of covered bridge as we work our way up through town here and visit four or five more. Oh, it does smell old. Wow, look at the floor too. Certain spots you can see right down. Do it.
<laughs> they must have added in some new pegs. You'll see in many of these bridges, people have come in, they've written their names, they've done some graffiti, they've written dates on them, little quotes and sayings. I just ran across this one, live the life you love, love the life you live. We're running out of time to beat the clock, so we got several more to do. We're gonna track our way back up the hill to the car and keep going. Hopefully we'll be able to hit them all. All that to go still. Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. the first of five covered bridges that we're going to be doing in this town and we're hoping to do six there's one that's a little bit off the beaten path so we're gonna skip that one and come back to it if we have time Fuller Bridge, we're going to turn right on the Fuller Bridge Road. There it is. Okay, you got to stop anyways. Alright, we're going to get out. Fuller Bridge was built in 1890 by the Jewett Brothers. Another lattice style bridge. This is the Comstock Bridge, another lattice type bridge also constructed by the Jewett Brothers. 
built in 1883. Now we'll turn left back onto the main road and we will head to the Longley Bridge Road. It's clear, it's clear my way. And how far away is this bridge? It's just a couple miles. Alright, you can turn around and pick us up on the other side. That's number nine. Nine out of ten. We got a couple miles up the road to the Hopkins Bridge. And then, if we still have enough time, we'll visit this one really quick, get some shots, turn around, drive back the way we came from, and go up West Hill Road to the Creamery Bridge. And if we're lucky, that one's plowed, but we may have to walk through the snow down to that one. So I don't know if we'll get 11 in or not. up here on the bridge it says slow autos to 10 miles an hour horses to a walk per order of the selectmen this is also another bridge by the Jewett brothers a lattice style bridge let's walk through to the other side built in 1875 Right now we have 18 minutes. 18 minutes. We got about five, six miles to go. Should be able to do it. There's two. Baby. There's two deer running up there. I don't know if you guys see them. There's one right there. All right, we're going back towards the Creamery Bridge. All right, we've done 10 covered bridges. Now we're headed to number 11. We're gonna try and get number 11 in the hour. We're gonna to have to go up the road a couple miles, turn right onto another good old Vermont dirt road. And then from there, we'll head up that hill and turn right again onto the Creamery Bridge Road. Hopefully it's plowed out, we'll see. We may have to walk down into this one too.
everybody smile. All right, we're gonna turn right here on Hill West, Hill West Road. Oh. Sharp right. Yeah. Go up here a couple miles, the Creamery Bridge Road will be on the right. We're hoping it's plowed. Bridge Road it should be up here on the right pretty soon. How much time do we have? Wow. Thirteen minutes. We have thirteen minutes. Yep. We should be able to do this. <laughs> if we don't go off the road. Especially with mom driving. Paul's gonna swallow the car. Nope, it's coming up. I guess I saw it on the maps. It's on the right. It's coming up very soon. Should be any minute. There's a road right here. I'm pretty sure it's a road. Right here it should be. Nope, up ahead. I think I see it. A few more minutes, seconds. Um, right. There. Is it here? That's it. That's it. We're gonna have to walk down in. Oh. How much time do we have? Ten. Ten minutes. Nobody's come down here either. <laughs> We're the only two dumb people I guess to come down here. <laughs> We have to walk like half a mile. There's probably a reason why people don't come down here. There's no so. deer tracks or anything. How much food do we have left? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Hey, people have walked here with snowshoes. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. You can see the roof. I don't know if you guys can or not. So the rest of the year, you can drive on this road. There it is. Well, we're at bridge number 11. We made it to 11 covered bridges in the last hour. This one we had to walk down in, probably about a quarter mile walk from the road. It wasn't plowed out, but we still worked our way down here to check it out. Come on in. Look 
at that. The old walls. Well, we, I hope you enjoyed this video. We were able to visit 11 covered bridges in the last hour. Two of them we had to walk down in on because they weren't plowed out. Um, we drove a distance of probably close to 30 miles actually because this one wasn't in our original calculation. Um, the others were about 26 miles total driving distance. We just added another five miles, so about 30 miles. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. You can help us out by subscribing and leave a comment below. Let us know if you visited any of these covered bridges. Check out the description. We've included some information on where they are. In the spring, summer, and fall, these bridges are accessible. In the winter, it looks like two of them, they don't plow. So you would need to walk in if you wanted to check them out. Thanks for watching. Wow, this one's been graffitied a lot. <laughs>